Hi, I'm Eric J. Barkman, and welcome to episode 7 of Time Out, my vlog on time travel in fiction. This episode will be covering the web series Future Girl, which you can go watch on Amy Dallin's YouTube channel if you haven't seen it already. So yeah, if you haven't, go watch it, and then come back and watch this so you don't get spoiled. Now, keep in mind that Future Girl is a comedic series that does not take itself or its time travel rules seriously. That being said, let's get ready to take a serious look at the time travel. So one of the main characters, Kiri, is an anthropology student from the future who's come back in time to study our era. And she moved in with a normal modern-day woman named M, and also brought a Viking to live with them. So this tells us a couple things. First of all, time travel is obviously relatively common in the future if anthropology students use it just to, you know, study the era that they're researching. It's also clear that the rules are fairly lax as Kiri makes no effort to hide the fact that she's from the future and talks about it openly. And the fact that she brought a Viking from the Viking era to live with them means that clearly there's not a big worry about the timeline being altered by t taking somebody from their time. Now this is just part of the basic overview of the series, what you get like even in just the theme song and such. And within the series, there aren't a lot of instances of actual time travel. With the exception of the second episode, where Kiri and M are fighting over who gets to use the bathroom first in the morning when they're getting ready. But rather than just, you know, going back in time early enough so that they both have plenty of time, they keep going back a little earlier, a little earlier, and fighting over it leading to an all-out time war, which ripped a hole in the space-time continuum, which caused all sorts of weird things, like a robobot appearing in the bathroom, and a uh, tear opening up in the sports field of whatever game Viking was listening to on the radio, and which dinosaurs came pouring out of. Oh, speaking of Viking, at one point early in the episode, she asked Kiri if Kiri had just traveled back in time, why there weren't two of her. And Kiri explained that the time machine had an anti-paradox dampening field on it. So this tells us a lot. First of all, we now know that it is possible to alter the timeline, and that too much alterations can cause damage to the space-time continuum. Which in itself brings up a lot of questions. Because if time travel is really easily accessible in the future, and it can cause these problems, then how does existence still exist? I'd have to imagine that the anti-paradox dampening field is to lessen the danger of this happening, but for cases where it's not enough, there must be some sort of time police or some kind of organization that would, you know, step in and fix problems. And as for the anti-paradox dampening field, how exactly does it prevent there being two people? Does it kill one of them? Or does it just merge them? For ethical reasons, I certainly hope it just merges them. But there's not really enough information to say one way or the other for certain. So yeah, in conclusion, time travel is easily accessible in the future. Timeline can be altered. But time machines have devices on it to lessen the effects of that. And presumably there's something that will deal with bigger damages. That's about it for this episode. I don't know what the next episode will be about, as I will be taking a bit of a break from it, which I know doesn't mean much to you because it's already on a very weird schedule where there can be like all sorts of random lengths of time between episodes anyway. But I am working on a secret project, so for the time being I will not be working on a new one of these. But I will come back to it eventually, if nothing else, or in the summer, fall, whatever, when I do the next part of the Arrowverse. So that's going to be such a headache. But in the meantime, if you have any thoughts on this video, you can comment down below, as well as if you have ideas for other series you'd like me to cover when I do come back to this vlog, uh, you can thumbs the video up if you like it. You can thumbs it down if you don't. Subscribing would be great, as would becoming a patron on Patreon. 
can also follow me on Tumblr, on Twitch, on Twitter, which I'll have links to everything I've mentioned down below, all the social media stuff. And, um, have fun.